Donald Trump gave a press conference from his Bedminster, New Jersey golf club today, you know, in the safe space that Donald Trump needs. Uh, and he just rambled for 45 minutes. So much so that CNN, only after 30 minutes of coverage, decided that they've had enough and they were going to cut away. I'm from different parts of South America and they want to come in and... Uh, in Long Island, re not too recently, but recently, they carved up with a knife two beautiful 16-year-old girls who were walking to school. And the reason they used a knife instead of shooting them was very simple, because it's more painful. They wanted to watch them agonize. And these are animals, and we have to get them out of our country, or we have to put them in jail because we don't want them back. Sometimes you have to put them in jail because their country doesn't want them back. They'll send them back the way they do. Just so you know, I know all of the people that we're dealing with. At, all as right. Yeah, we've all been watching uh, former President Donald and Trump delivering remarks. It's been going on for almost a half an hour so far, an opening statement at what was supposed to be a news conference. So far, he hasn't answered one question, hasn't taken any questions. Uh, he's doing all of this at his New Jersey golf club. We're going to check back in once he starts taking some questions from reporters. But right now, I want to get some analysis from our political experts who are joining us right now. And uh, Kristen Holmes, you cover the campaign, the Trump campaign for us. He appears to be talking pretty much on uh, his message so far, reading from his notes, carefully scripted, as we as we all can see uh, for much of his remarks. Is this what his campaign actually wanted him to do today? This is what they've been wanting him to do for the last several weeks. I mean, he's not just carefully scripted. He's literally reading almost word for word from a binder in front of him. Now he has props. They're framing this as a speech on the economy. And I continue to remind our viewers this is one of the messages that they have tried so after wolf blitzer cut away he went on for 15 more minutes just talking and talking and talking and talking i mean i, I to anyone out there who's still a supporter of donald trump how how do you have the patience to listen to this guy just ramble and ramble? He's saying the same things he's been saying for the past four years. I mean, what is it? Please, please tell me how, what are your secrets to being such a patient person? Now, let's address Wolf Blitzer and whoever that was uh, giving their analysis of Donald Trump uh, reading off a script uh, and, and reading word for word. He wasn't reading word for word. The guy, he doesn't have the mental capacity to stay focused. I, I don't think I watched him turn a page. I think he just... He just has talking points, a long list of talking points, and then he'll just kind of, oh, yeah, and, you know, uh, the in, uh, they're sending immigrants from insane asylums. Have you heard this? Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? But, hey, I, I was great, uh, right? Have you seen that? It, it's, it, there's, no, there's no focus here. CNN, <laughs> if, if you can't analyze something that's literally in front of all of our eyes and that's really i mean those four people were brought there to analyze donald trump's press conference if you can't do that i mean what are you guys doing you think he was reading word for word you think he was staying on script what are we talking about here and of course Kamala Harris's team has been very quick to respond to really any event that Donald Trump participates in, and they slammed his press conference today. They posted this to their social media account, a statement on Trump's whatever that was. At his country club, Donald Trump huffed and puffed his opposition to lowering food costs for middle and working class Americans and prescription drug costs for seniors before pivoting back to his usual lies and delusions. No surprise, Trump doesn't want to defend his agenda that would raise costs for families by $3,900 a year, cut Social Security, and eliminate the Affordable Care Act, Also, he can give his rich donors tax breaks. The American people cannot trust a word, Donald Trump says. 
but they can trust Vice President Kamala Harris, who has spent her life taking on fraudsters, cheaters, and criminals like Donald Trump to make our country safer and lower costs for the middle class. Donald Trump, like he's done his entire life, is just wasting everyone's time, wasting everyone's money, all, all for his ego. And he's really bad at it. He is incredibly stupid, uh, incredibly unfocused, and can't say the same thing about the Kamala team. I mean, even though Donald Trump tries, he tries to insult her intelligence, and then they just come out with a, I mean, a, a very short statement that makes it clear uh, that there is one person in this race who is uh, just far more uh, of an intellectual than the other one is. And that person wasn't speaking at his Bedminster private members golf club because he needs a safe space today.